Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, the first thing you will notice is that uh, today we are not filming in the night as we always do. Today, dear, we are all show some love for the sun, man. <laughs> and, the, and the reason we are filming in the afternoon is because our star today, man, so, so, some young, small boy, he's only eight years old. And to accommodate him, we said, come on, come over in the day so we'll film you. Who am I talking about, man? The whole of Africa, there were about 105 countries that were competing for the under nine chess champion of Africa. And guess what? My guest won. Just so long, man. This small guy, just eight years old from Ghana, is a chess champion for Africa, man. You gotta give it up, man. Yes. And you'll be meeting him very, very soon. His name is David. But before he comes in, you will be asking, who trained David? How did he become the astute player that he is? And you'll be amazed that he was trained by his father. So I'm going to introduce the father, have a chat with the father, and allow the father to introduce the son, the champion. So in the meantime, I want you to put your hands together, show some love for Mr. David Echampo! <laughs> yes, sir! <-o. laughs> Good to see you, sir! Oh wow! Yeah. By the way, when I was introduced to you, I made some mistake. Uh -huh. I said there was 105, 105 countries or something like that. Oh, yeah. But it was 105 players. players. Okay, players. so that's the correction, man. He met 105 players. Yeah. All right. Take but we're going to take a short commercial break. When we come back, the show will begin. Stick around. A big dinner. Notice I've stopped doing the other sign. Now I do this, man. Show some love, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Mr. Jumbo, first of all, welcome to the show. Thank officially. you. Thank you. It's good to have you here. Same here. And, Glad and to be here. I was just so ecstatic when I read about your son. Mm. You know, he won the... He's an under nine... Under nine... Chess champion yes. of Africa. Africa, yes. We're going to get to that, but, but you Great. are here train him. Yes. Were you always a, a, ch a chess player? You always loved chess? Yeah, I think uh, I've, I've been playing chess uh, as far as I remember somewhere growing up. My big brother taught me how to play oh, chess. Oh, your big brother taught you how? Yes. Is chess, uh, does it run through the family? I think, no, he was the first to learn the family. Oh, he was the first to learn? And then after teaching me how to play, he actually left the game. He doesn't play anymore. Oh, really? He not know how to play <laughs> well now. And uh, since then, we, I kept on playing. I enjoyed the game, loved it so much. Became what more passionate. What was it about chess that you love? Yeah, very good question. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a mind game and then it's able to uh, make, it makes you think, you know, plan ahead, helps you to focus. And the whole, the whole idea of you being against an opponent, trying to outwit the opponent in a battle of the mind was very fascinating to me. And so I kept at it. I like how you described it. It's a battle of the mind. Yes. So chess is board, like yes. a mind game. A mind game, that's right. That's right. Uh, you can tell me more chess. Forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I'm always you fascinated. Can easily learn. You can easily learn how to play. I it's not learn. a very difficult game to really? learn. Yes. So, okay, I'm saying on this. I feel a bit more chess. It helps. It helps. Oh, yeah. yeah. And across all ages, it helps. Even yeah. if you are young, you are an adult, it's good to play. And it's I read somewhere that for those of us who are growing, those of you who are yeah, yeah, you know, uh -huh. that it really actually help offsets Alzheimer's disease. Is very that true? correct. Very correct. That's correct. That's one of the health benefits of playing chess. It's able to help the brain to grow dendrites and mm. neurons and mm. it reverses those who already have Alzheimer's. Mm. And if you're already at risk of having it, it delays the delays the progressing to wow. Alzheimer's wow. disease. Wow. Yes. So it's well, very correct. Yeah, yeah. Those of you who are not aware of Alzheimer's disease is how you lose your memory, memory as you're growing. Right. Yeah, that's right. Before. You can't retain things for a long time. Yes. Easy. But let's come back to chess. Good. So your brother taught you. He mm -hmm. stopped playing. He handed over to you. Yes. And you kept playing and playing and kept playing. Kept played. Kept played. And then after points, we started uh, an academy uh, that we're, we're going out teaching chess in schools. Oh, really? So some of the schools we set up chess club, help them to set up a club. So schools have chess clubs. Some few schools in Ghana have chess clubs. Okay. It's our wish that more and more schools will have uh, this game in, 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 as part of their 
extracurricular activities. In fact, in other countries in Europe and the rest, it's part of the curriculum. Mm. So days where you do math, English, there are times where you have to do chess. Have to and do every chess. child learns, wow. learns that. Wow. Because they've seen the benefits of uh, mm -hmm. how the game benefits children, especially mm -hmm. when they start playing early. Mm -hmm. And so we had this going on for, for some time now. Even before uh, Chief was born and then he became a wow. player. Yeah, wow. we did this for a while. But, but here we are in Ghana. Mm. And chess is not exactly a main game in this country. That's correct. It is not. It's not. not so at that all. alone, for you to train your son to become the chess champion in uh -huh. of Africa uh -huh. from Ghana, that alone, man. Yeah. <laughs> that alone is amazing. It is. So going it back is. to the question, you know, considering that we are growing up in Ghana, mm. we don't have the, you know, the, the support systems and things. What, mm. what kept driving you into chess? Yeah, I think uh, one of the things that inspired me was that when, when I started playing, I read that almost every child has a potential to do well when it comes to chess. And then there was one popular uh, writer who had three daughters who became very, they were very, one of the strongest players in the world, three girls. They became the best chess really? female grandmasters in the world, Laszlo Poga. And he propounded a theory that every child is a potential genius. And he used chess as a way to, you know, test his hypothesis. And so I realized that no matter where you are born, once you have the basic resources to start with, you are at least you can do well. And so we're not really thinking of becoming African champion. We're just thinking of how we can at least mm. do well, play mm. competitive chess and see how far we'll go. Mm. And then God being so good, we had the chance to play in this tournament and then he became, he came on top. Yeah. Wow. So wow. that is wow. how it all, it all started. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. Let me st still stick with this for a moment. Mm. So back in the day when you started, you know, and chess wasn't that popular. Yes. Where are you getting your, your chess boards and what do you yeah. call these things? The, the chess board and pieces. And correct. The pieces. Yeah, the chess sets. Where were you getting them? We had just one at home. Oh, okay. We had money to get one. It was always uh, sharing among the neighborhood, a few friends we had. And then uh, my brother was way older than me. So most of his friends were playing. I get to play sometimes. And the challenge was when they are not around, you can be there for weeks, you won't get a chance to play. So I had to walk sometimes for hours to go to formerly, now, I think now, Alisa was a Sunrise Hotel then, to okay. go and meet some adults to see how they play. It was very difficult at that time. You didn't have chess books, you didn't get access to online. There was nothing like internet then. Somewhere 96, 95, that's when I learned how to play. And so we, we were always eager to learn, but you don't have anybody to play with. You don't find people to play, mm. that was a challenge. And that's one thing I think delayed our progress mm. in, in advancing the game. But I think for now, it's much easier. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of resources mm -hmm. online. You have a lot of people to play with, right? You can play live games online, Blitz, a very fast game. Mm. That's what we call the Blitz. You can play classical games too online. And it's in real time with opponents all over the world. So, so there's not much excuse in Ghana, now. Right here, with opponents over the all internet. Over the world. Yes. Thank God so for we don't have online. much excuse. We don't mm. do well in Ghana now. Mm. I think... At this age, we, there's a lot of so many resources that we can use, and so we have to take advantage of that with our young ones and mm. make sure they do well in the game. Yeah, mm. I'm quite interested in what what kept you going, you know, <clears throat> in a field that yes, yes, even up yes. to now, up to now, correct. I think it's a I, I, a friend described as a very lonely sport. It's you lonely are alone, sport. lonely sport because you don't have a lot of people, you know, following the game. First of all, unlike football. Everybody's mm -hmm. attention is on mm -hmm. football, mm -hmm. a lot of support for football, but chess, nobody really looks mm -hmm. at you. You're just doing your thing in your corner somewhere. But we believe that it will not, never, things will never be the same for all. Things may change and things may get better. Yeah. And then the attention on chess will also change. Okay. So aside being a sport, it's also a, mm -hmm. like an art, a science mm -hmm. that if you enjoy playing, you really find a lot of... Mm -hmm. uh, you know, your connection with the game. Okay. It teaches you a lot okay. of things about life. Okay. And so it's not just because uh, people are following you, but just yeah. that yeah. a lot of benefits with, playing with, the with game. something like soccer, you know, the kids, they want to be like a small giant. They want to be like a... That's they, right. They have names. That's right. Yes. They have models yes. to follow. That's right. In chess, what keeps you going? Who, who, who do you... Do yeah. you have people that we're looking up to that were chess gurus? Yes. I think at, growing, at the time I, when I was growing up, we had players like Kramnik, Kramnik. Uh, Anand Vishyanand, uh, Gary Kasper, they were very top players then. And I think, unfortunately, they were not, it wasn't because they were very rich at the time. Unlike now, you see a lot of footballers with luxury cars, homes, and that can inspire people who were just uh, fascinated by the way they could, you know, challenge computers, play very difficult positions, 
find a way to outfit the opponent, opponent. That was the things that kept us going. And then we kept at it till now. Mm. Yeah, I think now mm. maybe the story is changing. There are a, mm. a number of growing grandmasters who are much. Uh, some are into even modeling, some are doing very well, I mean, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. of chess. So, so Grandmaster is the ultimate? Is the ultimate. Okay. Is the ultimate. We have what, what, what are the steps to get to Grandmaster? To be a Grandmaster, you should have played chess for quite some time. You should have won also at a number of events where Grandmasters have played in. Mm -hmm. And that means you should be very strong to play such people. Okay. And then you should have beaten oh, so some... You should have a track record yes. of certain number of games you've played. You played. And the people you have played with? With, with, and you've beaten some of them who okay. are also grandmasters. Then you can get a norm, and then after some number of norms, you get the title as a grandmaster. Mm. And you have to have a minimum FIDI uh, rating. You have a rating system for all players who are professionals. So the, it should be about 2,500 upwards to qualify to be um, a grandmaster. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So did you ever play professionally? Or it was still the well, I, I, I have you. played a professional, um, maybe official tournaments, PD rated tournaments, uh, a few ones. I, I don't have a rating yet. I didn't play for long, so okay. but I've played a number of professional tournaments. Uh, for the, I think for the past 10 years, I've been playing some few professional mm -hmm. yeah, tournaments. So, in terms of the ranking, how far did you go? Oh, not at all. I don't think in Ghana we don't have any grandmaster yet. <laughs> we have, <laughs> I think, we what are the highest we have, we have in Ghana? Uh, we have an IM uh, who is a Ghanaian, but not based in Ghana. Yes, international master. Oh, international master. International master. Yeah, okay. we have one is for Ghana, and then we have a Fidi master. Uh, He's the highest rated player now in Ghana. What is it, Fidi? Fidi uh, FM, a Fidi master. Oh, Fidi master. Fidi master. That's the federation that governs chess in the world. Okay. It's called Fidi. Okay. We have, and we have one. We have one in Ghana. Okay. Yes, uh, Mr. President, Mr. Sir John Hasford. He's a very good player, mm. and then we have a number of. Candidate master CMs, about three uh, above our four CMs. Yes, mm. we have a number of them mm. in Ghana. Wow, wow, wow. 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 <laughs> now, of course, we're going to meet our, our young champion. That's but before right. we get there, <laughs> I, I want you to take us through a little bit of what inspired you to train him. Mm. How much of training have you given him to be able to win? Yes. Playing 105 mm. players. Well, that was the competition. That was the competition and they came in up general. The top. Yeah. And I hear Egypt is the is like the guru of Africa. Egypt is very strong. Egypt is very strong. Yeah. Yes. And and he beat them all. He beat the Egyptians and his category. He managed to beat them all. He, and, he, and he came on top of the Egyptians. Let me just get some more. Yeah. yeah. So I think for me, being being a, a chess coach. Um, as a part-time thing I do, I love teaching children how to play chess. We focus on the children most of the time. And so, if, if you happen to be my son, you don't have much of a choice. <laughs> you will learn. <laughs> you have to learn how to play chess. <laughs> and so, although he had the interest, there mm. was little room for him to say, I don't want to mm. play chess. You have mm. to play chess. Mm. And he has two other brothers. And they are, his younger brother, the immediate one, the one comes here sometimes, he's a very good player. Mm. A very strong player. He's also six years old, a very good player as mm. well. And they all play chess. So, wow. at home, wow. it's a chess family. My wife also plays chess. My wife plays chess? <laughs> yes. <laughs> we all play chess at home. Wow. That's right. who's, yeah. who's the wife? She's Anita Champon. A very good Anita. player too, yes. Okay, okay. Yeah. Show some of Anita, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. So, you have three? Three boys. Three boys. Three boys. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. And um, you, who are your favorite players that you used to play with? Like one on one in Ghana? Uh, in Ghana, I think the one on one players I played mostly with was uh, they were in Kenya. You met a number of players who okay. had the chance to play with. I was Are they still playing? Attention. They, some of them still play, but some have actually left the game. <laughs> mm. Like myself, I've also left. I actually do a lot left. more coaching. I don't play mm. too mm. competitively now. Mm. It's just more coaching. Did you yeah. ever play against a computer? Oh, most now we have a lot of computers engines on our laptops, so we do play against the computer. Mm. And at the lower level, you can beat the computer, but at the highest level, you can't beat. Really? You can't, no. Is no. it programmed to make it this <clears throat> that you can't? Or that I think the, the AI now um, is like a calculator trying to solve math question with a calculator. A simple math, you know, the math will always be faster. And they can go deeper. The algorithms in the, in the, in the computers now are much, much. A lot of games have been played. And so you hardly will, even the best grandmaster cannot be the best computer now. Really? So 
it's a no-go area for really? humans. Yes. Computers are way advanced. So when nobody has beaten the computer ever? There was. We had a classical one between uh, Kasparov beating the first computer. But even that, when he came back, he lost to the computer. And since then, they've not had a chance to. Now, as the computers have evolved and become better, there is no way a human being will beat a computer <laughs> now. Maybe <laughs> in the future something can happen, but, yeah, but now it's, it's very difficult. Mm -hmm. Yes, very, very difficult. Okay, so before your son comes on, mm. when did you feel comfortable enough to say, oh, right now I know your capability, you are ready for a tournament? And this was not a small tournament. This was it wasn't. Kind of it wasn't. Yes, <clears throat> I think we, we have been preparing for things like this. We knew um, once. One, he, he said, if I, his first tournament was when he was five, he played one tournament when in Ghana five? when he was five, and then in Ghana he didn't do too well. Was over the board. He was the youngest, the best youngest player, and then uh, at six years he won the national under eight chess championship. He was a national under eight champion when he was six. At six. At six. Yes. Wow. And then uh, since then we had a lot of training from time to time. It got to a point during the COVID era we had to do more training because we had more time on our hands. Mm -hmm. We even have to we have to get some support from some other um, coaches, a friend who was who was based in Nigeria to help. Mm. They are much you know very more aggressive in the game than some of us. So mm -hmm. they came in on board. Mm -hmm. They were helping with the coaching. Yeah. And he improved very, very fast when they all, all hands were on deck helping him. Mm. And then he became much stronger enough to ready to play in these competitions. Yeah. Mm. It's been great. Wow. Yeah. And before he comes on them, folks, I know. We are talking about the boy. As a case, I'm running in free. But so um, when you go for the tournaments. Yes. So it's like they're all sitting. This was online or this was. Uh, uh, the Return. one he played, the, the recent one he won was online. Oh, that was online. Online, okay. yes. Okay. But the system was structured that you play uh, over a chess server, and then you you are sharing your screen via Zoom, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then your your video is on, everything is on. You are alone in the room. Mm -hmm. So and then there are people we call them arbiters all over the world watching your game and watching you whether you are getting the support from somewhere or not. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's mm -hmm. how it works. Mm -hmm. And it and what, happens with all the players yeah. in all locations, yes. Being the coach mm. and watching him, what do you go through? Some of the games, it gets to the point you can't watch. You, you just have watch. to, yes. Really? You just watch. No, being the father, the coach, it gets to the point you realize that he should have done something. He doesn't do it. And I get a chance when I'm watching and I'm using maybe an engine to check whether he's doing well, he's leading or not. And I wish he can make this move, he doesn't make the move. And I'm like, wow, Chief, see this, see this, see this. You know, and it makes it very difficult sometimes. It gets, yes, like it gets very, very nervous sometimes. Mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. But sometimes I, I mostly watch, I mostly watch. Sometimes I just leave the room when he's watching, when he's playing. Like we had a tournament recently, I think just uh, this match in, at the Akras Ball Stadium. For some of the games, when he starts, I see the behavior how he's going, I just leave there. I don't want to stay there anymore. Mm -hmm. You can't talk anyway, you can't you talk can't when talk. you're watching. You can stand there and watch. You finish yours. Yes, nice you game. can watch, but you can't say anything. And then I just leave the room and leave him to play. And the arbiters are there. You can't say anything. You can't whisper. The opener wouldn't allow you to whisper. So I just leave because the tension is a bit too much sometimes. I just have to leave <laughs> and see how the game will unfold. I just pray that he wins. Yeah, That's yeah, all. Yeah. yeah. So going into this one, this online tournament the online one, thing, correct. Yeah. What was your confidence level? Oh, I was thinking at least to top five. I wanted us to announce our presence in the in the in, in African state that there are Ghanaians who are also doing well. Mm. I know top five wouldn't be bad mm. for a start. Yes. Then by the grace of God, he went. You were the top one. Top one. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Put your hands together, man. Yeah. <laughs> on that note, on that note, we are going to take a short commercial break, and when we come back, we're going to introduce the top one, Young David, a champion, will be here with us. Stick around. We'll be right back. Folks, remember we used to say, quote, oh, quote, Easter, the end, one, quote. But this Easter, we have changed the dynamics. It's now a brie, oh, a brie. I'm telling you, man. So this Easter, this long weekend, uh, we're having great fun at the Cactus Creek in a brie, man. Grills. Talk about grills, chilled palm wine, everything to make your long weekend exciting. A brie, oh, brie. Let's see you at the Cactus Creek this long holiday. We're back. 
but finally, you know, uh, John the Baptist has finished this week. Uh, so we are now going to usher in this young guy. He's eight years old, who's a champion, under nine chess champion of Africa. And I'll let his father do the honors and introduce him. Thank you, KSL. So I'm going to welcome uh, my son, our students, Dave, Chief, Kwanza, Achavo. Okay, we'll give you a kind of ovation. Dave, all right, all right. All right, show us a love, man. Dave, welcome. Thank you. And you're what, eight years old? Yes, please. Wow. And you are the African under nine chess champion. Yes, please. How does that feel? It feels good. It feels good? Yes, please. First of all, I want to go back. You are a small boy, so I can't even say, let me go way, way back, because <laughs> you are a young boy already. When did your dad start training you? He's, my dad started training me when I was four years. When you were four? Yes, please. Wow. Now, when you were four, were you always interested in the game? How did he start training you? Yo. Every time he was playing me in the house, we had friends that came to the house to play. Every time he comes, I always be watching, then he decided to teach us training. So when he was playing, you were always watching? Yes, please. What was it about the game that that was making you watch? What, what did you find exciting about the game? I saw them waiting, thinking, then I decided that maybe it was a good game for me to learn. So you wanted to learn it? Yes, <laughs> so you said it when you were four? Yes, mm. And me, I don't know, I don't know chess well. So let's say you are my teacher now. Mm. <laughs> now the whole of Ghana is watching us. Hey. <laughs> Show love, man. <laughs> <laughs> so let's say you're, I'm your teacher, you're my teacher now. Mm. How would you explain chess to me for me to understand even before I start playing? How would you explain the game to me? Chess is a mind game. It's a mind game. It can <laughs> make you think and also it makes you think before you move. It makes you think before you move. Okay. Like you're going to do something, but it makes you think before you do the thing. So that you know what will happen after. Yeah. Mm. Found the benefits of the game. <laughs> wow. So it says it's, it's a mind game. Yes. So you have to think before you move. Yes, please. Yes. And you're not just moving, you're also thinking about how the other person will move. The yes, of you yes, have to think like, about all like of that. Life. Yes, you don't just do things, you have to think of what will happen when you do this. It makes you very patient, very focused, you know, analytical, you plan ahead. Those are some of the benefits of playing the game. Mm. Yeah. For example, if, if, if you're playing the white, eh, if you are, how do you start when you're playing white and how do you start when you're playing black? Let's, let's start with the white. What do you call it? Boards? What, what are the names of the figures? The chess pieces. The, the white chess pieces, pieces yes. yeah. If you have a white piece and you're starting, how do you start and how different is it? <laughs> like White always starts first. So that's, oh, white always starts first? Uh, yes. So that's the uh, advantage for white because if you can start first, you're always making the move that you want first. Unless your opponent can stop it every time you make a move. So every time you make a move, there's something called on the board. There's something called the four center squares. These four squares are called the center. So every time you start, you want to control the center like something like this or this, to control the center. You have to control the center. Yeah, yeah we call these ones the opening principles, things mm. you do when you start the game. Mm. If you don't follow them most of the time, you get punished. <laughs> so you have to know the principles wow. Wow. at each of the stage of the game, the mm. opening, the middle game, the end game, very important. So it's trying to explain the opening, some of the principles in the opening. I you know, see. Playing for the this, center, this you attack the center. I'm going to learn this over. This is so exciting. It's good. It's, it's very so good. So, is it is a different thing when when we are starting with when we are playing black? The because principles are the same, but like he was saying, with white, you have the initiative. You start first, so you can decide to understand how the game should go. Mm. Okay, but if you don't if you don't play well, you can neutral, easily neutralize your initiative by what black will play. So mm. it's a very small, not a very significant advantage mm. playing first. So it doesn't mm. really matter okay. much. So yeah. David, when you, are go when, when you are sitting down, when you are playing in a tournament, mm, what are some of the things that go through your mind before you start playing? I just need to, like, every time before a tournament, I always practice. You practice? I just try to remember what I have trained for. The next play, the same things I've trained. There was one of the games in the times I just won, and we were training for what the guy would play. And what I was playing, that's what the guy was playing, what we planned for him to do. So yeah. that's how I won. 
explain that, I didn't quite. Uh, okay, so in the tournament, one of the games, we, we had a chance to look at the, the opponent's previous games. Okay. And realize that the opponent like a particular style of play. And so we could predict that when he should start this way, the opponent to do this. And the opponent followed it through to like move 10, playing the same thing we had planned. And that gave him some time advantage, also an edge over the guy because okay. he had prepared for him. So you had, a, you had a chance to look at the whole game of the of Open? His previous games that he has played. You just like football, you can look at how maybe a team yeah. plays and then yeah. let me just go this time this way yeah. because they like to play attacking. We'll go for a counter attack this time. And we prepared some lines for him to use and mm. they worked very well. <laughs> yeah. Mm, mm, so then mm. you, can, you can get lucky in the game, the opponent to do exactly what you are prepared for. Mm. And then it becomes much easier. Whilst he's thinking, you are just playing what you have already prepared for, and it's much easier for mm, you mm, to win. Mm. Although there are so many ways the opponent can deviate from what you have prepared for, you have to be ready for that one also. Okay. That is where your, you know, your preparation and preparation your real and everything. Yeah. deep training will show. Yeah. Because you can't have it like a mem yeah. memorizing move, so you'll be more, more of thinking and understanding what the opponent yeah. is trying to do before you Dave, can what play. Time have, what, what situation have you been in that you thought, wow, this is a very challenging situation, I have to... I have to come up with some, some, some strategies. In the times I won, like just right now, the last weekend. The weekend, okay. We had a tournament this weekend at Osu at the Accra Sports Stadium. Oh, you were, oh, That was okay. a physical over the ball tournament, not like the usual online this one. This was not online. Yes, so we, we, we went to play physically at the stadium. Uh, and it was a game, a tournament by, organized by Osu Classics, and it was for adults. We had the finest of the country playing the top and uh, 2000 You were playing with adults? Player. Yes. Really? Yes, really? Adults, yes. He was playing with adults? Yes. Uh, I won one game against one adult. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> and you won one game on the board. It was a long game, took more than 60 moves, a lot of back and forth on the board. What, what came into your mind to decide that I'm going to play with adults? These were not under nine people. These were old people. I wanted to like try and get my. I didn't have a PD rating, but after I beat the adult, I got a PD rating, thousand six hundred. Oh, so one, rating. yes. Mm -hmm. I took his rating from him. Then that uh, made me know that I had to try harder and play against adults. All right. I like you. You want to be a grandmaster? Yes, true. Really? Who is who? Who, who inspires you in this whole world of chess? Do you watch games? Yes, please. He follows a number eh? of the world champions, those dead and gone. You follow all these people? We, we, we do. It's part <laughs> of the database. So you watch games. How players. long are these games? All of them go for hours. Yes. Yeah. A standard, yeah, maybe like uh, classical games. Each player has an hour and a half, yes, for each player. And so it can take up to maybe three hours. Maximum, maybe six hours. A game can last up to six hours. Wow. And all six hours you watch, or you watch some? No, then... usually the games have been played, so we just watch what the moves they played. Okay. In the in the database form, so just watch this one. He did this. He did that. That's what happened. Why did he do this? What was he thinking at the time he did this? Mm. What's the reason behind this move? Try to follow and understand mm. why they did the things they did. Yeah. Wow. David, I see they've took some two of the pieces. And put it under the table. Are they? Oh yes, yes, yes. <laughs> what do you do? And those are ad additional queens. It's oh. not really. There's something called promotion in chess. That's why your pawn, like this pawn, gets to the to this place. Then, when it gets over here, it can promote. It can choose to go into either this piece, this piece, this piece, or like only those pieces, yeah. but not the king. I'm impressed, but I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the pawns are the weakest. I'm just impressed the board. by his knowledge. <laughs> yeah. But I don't oh, I the see. The pawns are the weakest on the board. So mm -hmm. when they're able to go through the game and then get to the end of the board yeah. of the, their opponents, yeah. they, we call it promotion, where they can become like a change into a, a, a bigger piece. I see. And they can become one of these pieces apart see. from the kid. Yes. So mm -hmm. these are all your tournaments. You won these. Trophy, what, what yeah, are medals, these? yes. Medals. Yeah. Can I take a look at them? This one. Wow. Show him some love, man. Now, now for me, right here, the, the thing that I find so striking is that this is not a game that is popular in Ghana. Well, it is getting gaining ground, but mm. it, it's not one of the games that we play in Ghana. Egypt 
and uh, some of the other countries, Uganda, South Africa, South Africa yeah, Algeria. they have the gurus, yeah. you know. So for an eight-year-old from Ghana to win the best player under nine in Africa, Chale, it's, it's, it's a big deal. Show some love, man. But look at the medals. Wow. wow. It is a big deal. Uh, so, um, Father, mm. <laughs> now I know that he has qualified to play in the world championship thing. Correct. Correct. Wow. In the world event uh, in Greece. And he's in, in Greece. Greece. Yes. Please. And he will be representing Africa now. Africa. Yes. We'll have um, a number of players from different continents all coming on board. And we'll be meeting a very tough, tough, tough opponent. Yeah. From Russia, India, Canada, US. Wow. They'll all be around to play. Yes. And we want him to bring the gold home, man. Oh, yes. yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> but but before, okay. before he can do that, we need support, man. Yeah. We need, we need corporate backing. We, we need some big time corporate, some big time rich man. Say, Chalem, Mafakan, because we have to support this. This is amazing. Um, yeah. Let, let me know. You have started some GoFundMe account. Yes, we just started a GoFundMe account. And then also we did a poster, uh, like a fundraiser with uh, Vodafone, Cash, MTN Momo for people to support. Because we're struggling to get in sponsorship from the corporate bodies and even some of the uh, banks we've written, we've not had much support. So we're mm. trying to do that too. Are there any particular you've been, you've been targeting or you're just going we, we across? We targeted a few we could. Uh, some companies, we, popular ones we know of who are into sports, we have, but then they didn't, uh, were not they uh, responded. responded yet. Really? But we trust in that maybe from here we'll get some support. Yeah. And from the ministries, we need support from all of all, yeah. all these angles. So. Yeah. We are very hopeful we'll get the support before. Yeah. So you have a Momo account? We do have, yes. You have a number? Yes, we do have a number. Okay, yes. so let's give it out now. We'll put it on the screen. Okay. And then anybody who's watching who wants to support Ghana, get the gold. This small guy. It's not Ghana now. Africa. Africa, yes. Yes. Africa. And so, and, and yes, Africa and then Ghana gets gold, yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Wow, wow. What's, right. What's, 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 the, what's the Momo number? So we can put it on the screen for all those out there who are listening. We have to support, we have to raise the money to get my, gra my grandson. I was going to say my son, Zay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, your grandson. Yeah, so we have 020-809-4443. Uh, okay. And then we have 055-251-3734. Okay. And then the GoFundMe too is on our Facebook page, our Twitter account. Okay. We have shared it on our... Okay. So the number is on the screen now, folks. This is, these are the numbers. Let's all, all of us, get to up here, sir. Let's make much. sure that we send um, uh, David uh, to the world championship and make Africa the champion coming from Ghana. And that, where's the Facebook account? And give us every, every yes. information okay, that we the, need. His handle is Dave Chief QA. Dave Chief, at Dave Chief QA. Okay. Yeah, that's his handle. That's his handle. And you see a picture of him over the okay. chessboard. Okay. Can I look at those cups? David, thank you very much for showing this. And then, yes. Oh, wow. Wow. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. 2019 National Youth Chess Championship under nine. Man, National <laughs> Youth Championship 2019. Show some love, man. Wow. And this one is. And this was uh, the flag is going by. was the Invitational okay. International Youth Tournament. We and have that's some how you Nigerians and others coming over to play in wow. Ghana. And wow. then he won the other eight as well. Chief, so you must be very, very proud of yourself, eh? Yeah, yeah. 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 Where do you go to school? Uh, Jack and Jill. School. Jack and Jill? Yeah. Oh, wow. They must be very proud of you. Eh? Are they? Yeah. yeah. Hey, Jack and Jill, show some love for Jack and Jill. <laughs> 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 and so, yeah. You know, it's very interesting talking to you, you know, my small grandson, they talk about their toys and what they want to eat for lunch, their pizza. Mm -hmm. You are looking at games and, and master strategies and things like that. That's what excites you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> eh, what, are, what else do you like for fun? Uh. For fun, what do you do for fun, apart from the chess? I have a bike, so I just ride um, sometimes. I also have the FIFA. The oh, you have Xbox. a bike? And yeah. the Xbox. So sometimes I just play. 
video games, video games, TV, yes. uh, and then riding bikes, uh, playing football. He play loves football. doing that. Yeah. Wow, I'm very, very proud of you. Okay. Not, not just me. Oh. The whole Ghana is part of you. Okay. You have lifted the image of Ghana to an extent that is amazing. Uh, okay. And 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 I think that um, I'm very, very sure that even when the president watches this, you say, "Oh, I want to meet this this gentleman. Would you like to meet him?" Yeah, yeah. yeah. you will. <laughs> very well. We'll be happy to see meet him. Uh, yeah. Okay, I, I feel. I have the feeling that you meet him very, very soon. But congratulations, eh? Yeah. Thank you. have done you. extremely well. And your father is your was your coach or is your coach? No, he was my coach. Now, was, now I have a coach in Nigeria that is training me now. Oh, so you've handed over to yes, a Nigerian yes, guy? Yes, yes. He's much stronger than... Uh, he's getting stronger. Okay. And uh, looking at my strength, I will not be helping him much if I okay, consider Okay, okay. So you've gotten to the point where you say you have to sit back and let a stronger person take over? Yes. Yes, that's what's happening now. Because when we play, if we play, we have to play five games. Maybe I'll lose uh, three. I, I can't. He'll win. He'll win the fight after three. You play him when I play him. Yes, but now I've stopped. I don't play much with him because <laughs> he beats I, you. It's not good to be losing to him. We <laughs> <laughs> don't play much. He you beat your dad. Yeah. 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 Oh wow! Cheers <laughs> of love, man. I was saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, Chief David, we are very proud of you. you. Congratulations, huh? And um, this is just the beginning. And I and I know that you'll be the first grand master to come from our country here. Yeah. Show him some love, man. Good, 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 good. good. Then your final words before you leave us. You have any final words? Yeah, I think uh, all I'll say is that chess is a very good game and uh, we want to encourage more and more people to play. Unfortunately, it's not very popular here, but it's something that if we focus on as a yeah. country, we'll have a lot of, a lot, so many more talents here. Yeah. You know, it's very simple to do chess compared to other sports. Much, much easier to start. You know, if you compare chess to maybe golf, tennis, you need a court, you need a, a club. These are more expensive, but with chess, just a board, you can start. And it, it has a lot of benefits for both the children and the country as a yeah. whole. Yeah. You know, a country which has people who are thinking critically, logically. A lot of our problems in Ghana will be solved. So it's something we can take it up as a country. Show it to one more and time. Then, you know, we can have, yeah. <laughs> and then the support also for chess. chess. If you have more support okay. for chess, okay. you know, and other sports that are lesser known, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know, it, it will mm -hmm. help a lot to motivate the players yes. to do well. Yes. But that's what we've achieved without any support. Well, that's the thing. We've achieved, any you know, being champions in so Africa. So can you imagine if there's, that's right. there's backing, the support, the strategy? That's right. That's go so right. far with very, it. very good for us. We all. thank you and we congratulate you too. Thank you. Because you have done very, very, thank very you. well. Show them to love one more time. Thank you. Okay, folks, we come to the end of another exciting evening. It is an honor for me to meet my, my grandson here, you know, numero uno in Africa under nine chess. He's the numero uno. Show some right. love, man. <laughs> he is the numero uno. <laughs> so until we come back next week, I'm signing off in the words that I always use, and I will catch you next week. But in the meantime, I am out of Let the whole world say, yeah. 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 <laughs>